quick disclaimer, there's many different ways of doing things, but this is based on my experience and this is my way of making beats. That being said, this beat's gonna be about arranging beats for artists. If you can like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and let's get into this beat. I'm gonna start this video off by showing you what pattern we're working with. This is what the chorus is with every single instrument playing. So I'm gonna tell you what's in it. There's a guitar, organ, another organ, some vocal chops, and the rest are drum instruments. You know, like your 808s, claps, whatever it is. But I'm gonna play that for you, show you how it sounds. So let me go back to the beginning of the beat. Here in the beginning, there's no no drums playing at all. I know people like to put it in halfway through or whatever, but for this beat, I didn't put no drums in. What I did do at the end of the eighth bar, halfway through it, I took out all the instruments to make a pause. In that pause, you can add a sound effect that whooshes, or you can add your tag, which is what I did. So I'm going to play it from the top and you'll hear what I did. And I'm going to let it play all the way through the chorus, which is here. So I'm going to let it play. It's my baby. We're leading up to the verse some people like 16 bars in their verses but i like 24 bars it really doesn't matter but i personally like the 24 bars i'm gonna zoom out a little bit i like the 24 bars um in this verse here i took the main nylon guitar here i took this nylon guitar right here and I dropped it down using halftime so this is a halftime nylon guitar and I'm gonna play that just to give some variation inside of the verse, but I took out the organs and the vocals that are playing. So this is what it sounds like. I'm gonna play it from halfway through the chorus. Next, I just add the vocal chops in right there. So that's about it. And then after that, I add the organ chord. So listen for them. When you're dealing with the verse, you don't want to just keep just one instrument playing. You might want to add certain things throughout the way. So I added the vocals and I added the organs. Now, sometimes you don't have to do that. It's really up to you. But this is what I do. Really, I make sure that there's a new element coming back in. And these are all elements I'm taking from the chorus. So as you, if I zoom in right here at the end of the 24th bar, once again, halfway through, I um, took out some instruments right here. See what I'm saying? To create, like, to let the artist know that the chorus is coming back in. A great way of doing that is not just taking out halfway through. 
you can see I took out a little bit more just because this is half time and it has a delay so that's what I had to do but for the rest of them down here if you go down to the last clap if you go down to the last clap down here or rim it really doesn't matter to this last hit of the rim right here right if you take out every single thing that was playing before it I mean that plays after it then you'll create some type of suspense once this comes back in which is the chorus again so if I let it play from let's just say here you'll hear what I'm talking about I'm gonna zoom out what I'm talking about now that was verse 1 for verse 2 I did the exact same thing I did for verse 1 like to put my bridges right after the end of verse 2 so here's the bridge coming up right here I took out four bars of all the drums you know what I'm saying to give it a little bit of suspense and I didn't go back to the chorus nylon guitar I kept the halftime one playing so it sounds real dark and when the beat when the drums come back in it's gonna hit really hard so here it goes and you seen I used um I used that break again to bring back in the chorus after that Now this is basically the same thing as the other ones and I used a the same dropout at the end here now you don't really have to make a third verse all the time but I do it just so like artists sometimes want the beat to be longer their engineer can cut it shorter if they want or not but I make the beat with three different verses in it and then I bring back in the chorus with the same drop back in the chorus and then after the chorus I add one of the verse um, one of the verse patterns and then I use my master fader and I fade the beat out that's one good way to finish your beats is to fade the beat out so here we go All right, and there you go. Of course, different beats. You might take out a snare there, take out, but listen, for this type of beat, that's exactly what I would do to arrange my beats. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.